Ambulance. Ambulance is directed by Michael Bay and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, and Aitza Gonzalez. Fortunately for us, this combination of cast and director make for a really thrilling and entertaining experience from start to finish. Events unfold really quickly throughout this film. It wastes no time in getting started, and things constantly continue to evolve as the film progresses. And throughout the runtime, I found my eyes being glued to the screen with over-the-top car chases, evolving circumstances, and constantly guessing as to what these characters were going to do next. Although the plot doesn't land at all moments, especially in some of the moments of dialogue, the movie does a great job of being unpredictable, which makes it really exciting. Having said all that, this movie does a really poor job of overstaying its conclusion. One of the best aspects of Ambulance is the chemistry between Yahya Abdul-Mateen II and Jake Gyllenhaal. They play as brothers in the film and nearly occupy every single second of screen time. And given the fact that their performances are strong, vigorous, and vibrant at all times with no signs of ever slowing down, it's a really welcome tactic in the film. Just when one of them takes their intensity up a notch, the other follows suit pretty quickly. I found many scenes would feel like a ticking time bomb where one of them would do something more ludicrous than they did in just the previous scene. And this was pretty consistently throughout the movie and made for a really great and entertaining time by the time the credits rolled. And speaking of a great experience, Ambulance capitalizes on its biggest strengths in order to create a very entertaining experience. Combined with a really quick start and really rapid pacing throughout the film's runtime, these two combine to create a recipe that you just can't stop watching. And everything just happens so quickly. There's no lulls throughout this runtime up until about the last quarter, which I'll talk about in just a second. But you've got really intense action sequences. You've got even some blood and cuts spilling at one point. And just these circumstances that you would never, ever expect to see, they happen in this movie and they just, they shock you. And Ambulance did a sufficient job at being unpredictable throughout the journey with our anti-protagonists. With the three of them being in a pickle throughout the majority of the runtime, it would seem that they would only reach one end. But just when you think things are looking predictable, Ambulance introduces a new variable, which is pretty meaningless in the plot, but they're so shocking and entertaining that it just doesn't really matter because it just continued to capture my attention at every twist and every turn. And I think most of this can be attributed to the constantly characters changing their motivations as they got to think on their feet a lot of points in this movie. It just became so exciting that I would constantly look forward to seeing what the movie would throw at us next. Despite there being plenty of entertainment value in Ambulance, it does falter intermittently throughout its dialogue. There are many attempts at humor throughout points of the film. Some land well, but others really fail hard. And by the end, it created about a 50-50 split where I would either laugh at the jokes they made or just roll my eyes in disapproval. But what really makes these moments fail really hard is the fact that sometimes their attempts would compromise some of the believability of the characters. There's one instance in particular where a character makes a decision that really compromised my believability in them as the character because no one in their position would do something so nonsensical. And to top it all off, some of the scenes had a really bad habit of telling us what was going on in the most prolific moments rather than just showing us and allowing us to make it settle. I just like being able to piece it together a little bit more myself rather than the movie just telling it to me outright. It, it loses a little bit of fun that way. And finally, Ambulance doesn't keep itself from meandering way too far throughout its conclusion. Up until the last quarter of the film, everything's exciting, it's rapid, and it keeps you hooked. But the movie makes the last 25 minutes feel like the longest, longest experience in the world. It creates that feeling of impatience and it really gets in the way of achieving that closure that you just spent with these characters for the last two hours. It just didn't know when to wrap up and get going and I think the movie suffered a little bit for it. Friends, in the end, I'd recommend seeing Ambulance and I'm going to say it's a 7 out of 10 and a good watch. Friends, have you seen Ambulance? If so, what'd you think of it? You know where the comment section is. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching on the Bankrupt Hippo Movie Review. If you like this, click right here if you'd like to see more. I've been Bryson. Until next time, have a great day.